Okay, what we're going to show now is show some of the perils of quest-based commentary. Now we just killed Nepos. And Zora is going to say something. There she goes. She made a come on uh, a comment quickly after uh Nepos died. Now suppose you killed Nepos first and then did a raise spell. Now in this instance we just killed Nepos, but he is an ash pile. And so the uh, problem here is is the game doesn't recognize that he's dead because he's a pile of dust. So Zora does not uh, do her commentary as she would uh, had Nepos's corpse been here. Um, unfortunately, this quest, you can't do it by stage because the stage begins before you fight. And it's just uh, like three or four different ways you can do this quest, so there's no guarantee you even come here. But I think a good workaround would be to um, put a corpse check or a dead dead count check on all of these, on any of these four. That way, if Nepos is an ash pile, she'll still make the comment if you ail, you ails, corpse is there. So there's workarounds, but it just goes to show that how exact uh, the circumstances have to be and how you have to sort of account for all different kinds of uh, situations when trying to add quest commentary. Alright, one of the problems that uh, you have when trying to write for a mod like this is you're limited by the lore that uh, the creators have made um, for Elder Scrolls. So a common trope in fantasy is the face dancers like in uh, Dune or I think it's face I dancers, skin nervous. dancers, uh, whatever it is. Um, and like uh, the many faces or I forgot what they're called, um, the bravosi in uh, Ice and Fire. But it, basically it's a common trope that you have these sort of like ninja guys that can change faces and stuff like that. But uh, up until now... I don't believe those in Elder Scrolls equivalent, so I couldn't write uh, a character like that. Uh, but then I met this Dawnguard NPC. What have you done to yourself? I yes, but no matter. And but I'm just gonna skip through this. And what she says is that she won't a sculpt. She won't sculpt uh, faces that are undead, and I think that's a limitation, basically, of the character creation menu, mm -hmm. where it doesn't have vampires in it. Um, I have not but the thing that intrigued me was this comment right here. She mentions the faculty of chirurgeons in Cloudrest and the hollow-faced men of Nohotogra. Um, now, what that does is it creates a... Uh, a, gr a faction or a, a piece of lore that you can extrapolate on and still be lore friendly. Uh, now what I'm going to show you is basically what I turned that piece of lore into. Uh, I wanted to make a, a quest um, using the tutorial on creationkit.com, the very basic Ben Du Olo script quest. And uh, I thought uh, using um, the lore that the Dawnguard NPC gave us uh, was a perfect opportunity to do that. Uh, so what we have here is a quest giver, and I'm going to skip through this and go to the particular quest thing. Now this person, unlike the uh, person in Riften, uh, w desires to sculpt the undead and so um, she's missing a piece of material so she's kind of unusual in that she studied under the hollow faced men and uh, a witch coven in devil rock in any case I'm going to skip through this and you see it, it all works correctly uh, it should obviously because it was copied or cribbed off the original tutorial but it's a basic fetch quest I just really wanted to uh, see if I could script myself and build off those skills and maybe create something more complex in the future uh, of course with keeping with the mod uh, we want to make it 
as fun to play as possible. So the way I did that was I try to expand on the lore, um, add little reading items here. There's a journal here that you can, uh, where it talks about her experiments and ties her to another NPC that's already in the mod. And um, the other NPC as well that is part of this quest is also a little bit eccentric. So hopefully it's not uh, just a typical fetch quest, even though at its uh, core it is. But the real point of this was just to practice scripting and sort of learn some of the, the basic fundamentals of that in case I want to uh, add more complex quests in the future. Because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to find anybody. Uh, if I want something done, yeah, you pretty much have to do it yourself. Now lastly, the fetch portion of the quest. Uh, now I wanted to create um, three uh, separate ways that you can complete this quest. You can basically pickpocket him, you could kill him, or you can pass a speech check. And that's basically um, just a way to add more variety to it. Uh, but ultimately, I just wanted to make uh, the character itself, that's the most important thing, sort of uh, fun to talk to. I don't know if I succeeded in that, but um, he likes his bones. Alright, that concludes this uh, installment of Interesting NPCs Developer Diary. Uh, you'll find everything in um, this video in version 1.95. Anything else we need to add here? Yes? No? <laughs> Alright, that's it. Right, goodbye.